Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth, reporting from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video, and it's on Tamar Braxton's new single called If I Don't Have You. Now, you know, a lot of you guys may have already heard the song because it dropped, well, Tamar dropped the song, surprise-wise, on iTunes on Tuesday, um, May 26th, so I just want to make sure you guys know that, that's how, that's when the song dropped, and Tamar did a great job by surprising everybody, so I know everybody's getting their life is, I know Tamar said, get your life, but I know everybody's getting their life hearing this song right here, now, this may be your first time hearing it, I cannot play the song because of copyright, um, um, rules, so, but I'll let you guys give you a review on it, so make sure you guys get that understanding from your boy right here, but the song is it has that has that classic R and B feel. It's not like something from the '90s, and it has like a blues, like a bluesy adult contemporary feel with some soul to it. And Tamar was really singing her behind off on this song. I can let you guys know that all the Tamar fans, just all the fans of Tamar, period, worldwide, this song I feel like will break you think of like when she dropped the Love and War album, just like the song Love and War, but. Not a part two of it, but I feel like it was giving you that vibe of the Love and War 2, but I feel like she's trying to go more deep into it soul-wise. And Tamar, if you're watching this, you did your thing on this song. I can really let you know that straight up. And honestly, from the heart, I feel like I really felt where you were coming from when you were talking about the song. The song's just about, you know, it's just about um, uh, love and just talking about if you don't have that person, you go through those different emotions, but... It's a good song. I feel like everybody can relate to it of all ages. And I, I have some lyrics that I, I know some of the lyrics that you guys may be like, okay, what are some of the lyrics? Okay, some of the lyrics are saying, you should know if I don't have you. Rocks me to the core. I can't love no more. If I don't love no more. If I don't have you. No, I'm done for sure. Nobody worth fighting for. Like, those are some of the lyrics that I feel like Tamar was just belt out her um her soul and just the honesty it's not about her events but i know that's just like the emotions of everything because the song was written by tc i know a lot of you guys may know tc he wrote you know on tamar's christmas album that came out you know about probably about a year or two years ago i did a song review uh, not a song review but out christmas album review on that so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it but shout out to tc you did your thing on it and it's also the song is also produced by the intern so i'll make sure i get the interns um, a shout out also because you all just combined and get, made that extra push and just gave me that real R&B that I've been, you know, I love real R&B, but I love that you guys just kept it real. And hopefully the Tay Marshall fans, just everybody in general will gravitate to the song immediately and hopefully we get a great video too. Now, the album, I know everybody's wondering, is Tay, when is Tamar dropping her album? And I know my best friend Phil of... Forever Brand TV wants to know this question too, so I'm going to answer all those questions. Her First of all, the title of her new album is called Calling All Lovers. And I know a lot of people may say, okay, she's trying to act like he, she's trying to copy Keish Cole's um, previous album, Calling All Hearts. No. It's just a coincidence, just like when I first heard the song, If I Don't Have You, it just almost made me think of Keisha Cole's song, I Choose You. That's just, it gave me that vibe, but I feel like both songs are great. Both of those artists are amazing. Keisha Cole in her own right and Tamar Braxton in her own right. Both of them are amazing artists. So please, everybody, let's not compare the ladies. They're both great women. But let's get back to Tamar. The song is out on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon. And I have a link on, on iTunes if you guys have iTunes and want to download the song. This is amazing. And if I didn't say it already, Tamar albums, Tamar's new album, Calling All. Lovers comes out July 31st, so make sure you mark that on your calendar if you guys are wondering. And if you want to keep up with her, she is on Twitter and Instagram at uh, Tamar Braxton Her. So you guys know her name, Tamar Braxton Herbert, but it's Her, like H-E-R. That's just in case you guys are wondering that, Tamar Braxton Her. And if you want to keep up with me, and hopefully you guys do, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ktooks. This show that you're watching, Ktooks Spot on YouTube, it does have a Twitter page at Ktooks Spot. Make sure you guys thumb this video by liking it. Make sure you share the video and make sure you comment after you've heard the full song. If I don't have you from Tamar Braxton, let me know what you think about the song overall. I know some people have been, um, there have been some mixed reviews so far, but I feel like the song will gravitate. You may take some people a couple listens, but hopefully you guys listen to the lyrics because the lyrics are so meaningful. And let me know what you think about the um, song. So if you want to um, subscribe to me, make sure you do that. It's down here. You can push uh, the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time I drop videos. And you can see some of the videos I've done from the past when I first started to up to now. That way, if you can be a part of this journey and get the feel of what videos I've done in the past. So hopefully you guys do that. 
And that's about it. So you guys have a blessed one and you'll see me again later. And make sure you watch Braxton Family Values Thursday nights on WeTV at 9 o'clock. So this is your boy Kendall signing off from the K2 spot. So bye-bye.